Hi, my name's Elle and I am learning to be a seamstress. This feels wonky, man. Right? Ooh. Oh, good start. Happy New Year! Let's get straight into it. Uh, 2022 was fab for sewing. I definitely kind of let my YouTube go to the side a little bit. I wasn't as um, consistent as I'd liked. Hopefully 2023 that will change. I'd love to make more tutorials. I'd love to be uh, more involved and really put YouTube at the forefront of my content creation. Let's hope. But real quick, I wanted to talk to you about making my New Year's Eve outfit. So the plan is to make this dress, the view C, but with the side slit from the view um, B, is it? Basically a polar neck, long dress with a slit up the side made out of stretchy fabric. This is the fabric that I found. I literally, so New Year's Eve is tomorrow. I haven't even started. It's like 5 p.m. the day before and I'm leaving in the morning. So this is actually gonna be quite stressful. Um, anyway, so I picked up this fabric from Abacam when I was in Liverpool. It is the perfect New Year's Eve fabric. Super stretchy, so glitzy and sparkly and so much color. It's just gonna be great and I have been wanting to make a jersey dress like this for a really long time. So I made a toile last night using some fabric I had in my stash. I only had enough to make the top half, so I couldn't make it into the dress. But as you can see, it um, does look quite big. It's more of a jumper size than a tight fitting dress. The measurements from the back told me to make a large because that's waist 30 to 32 inch and hip 40 to 42 inch um which turned out to be way too big for me even as a as a top or as a jumper it's quite oversized the shoulders hit past my shoulders so i'm going to size down to a medium um to make this dress and then i'm going to try it on and then if i need to make it smaller again i'll make it smaller but it took me a matter of maybe an hour to whip this up. I mean, I haven't hemmed it or anything like that. Uh, so hopefully it's going to be a relatively quick sew and I'm just gonna keep you with me along the way. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I've cut my pieces out, ready to go. It is a little bit dark. I'm going to get my extra lights on in a minute. But first things first, I need to change the thread in my machine. So I've currently got it on hot pink. I was debating whether to do the whole thing on the overlocker. I did all of this just on the overlocker. Yeah, I've got my toile on because I tried it on to see where the shoulders ended. And then it's really comfy, so I haven't taken it off. Um, so I could do the whole thing on the overlocker. But in the instructions, it says to double sew each seam. Maybe, I don't really know why. Oh, well, obviously I know why, because it wants it to be stronger. It says stitch seam along seam line, stitch again six millimeters away in seam allowance using a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch. Then trim close to the second stitch or overlock both stitches. So that's like a lot of stitching, two rows of stitching plus overlocking, which I think is a bit of overkill. I mean, I'm probably gonna do a line of uh, zigzag stitches on my machine or stretch stitch on my machine. Then I'm gonna move on to my overlocker and finish it on my overlocker. I only have the most random colors on my overlocker. Black, pink, cream, and navy. That's the best you're gonna get. Um, but this is, yeah, I mean, I'm not even gonna try and justify it. But yeah, so first things first, they did say to add some, oh my gosh, I feel like I've got very chaotic energy right now. Anyway, it says to add stay, st oh no, what does it say? It says to add center seam binding. So there's some bind, wait, on the things that you need, the notions, it says you need seam binding. And the first step is to add seam binding over the shoulder seams. Obviously, so it will present it, prevent it from stretching. Um, I don't have that. I think you can use ribbon. 
Um, but I'm going to try and do it without. You might be in the comments being like, don't skip this step, this is super important. But as you know, I am running out of time and I don't think I have anything that will work. So don't do this, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to just skip straight to the second step, which is to stitch the shoulder seams together and then we're going to stitch the side seams together. Easy. Let's go for it. So I'm going to use clips to secure my pieces in place. Obviously it's quite slippery fabric on this table. So I'm matching up my front and back shoulder seams like so and then I'm going to sew them. So not really sure if you can see because obviously I'm using black thread but I've zigzag stitched 1.5 centimeter seam allowance like so and then I'm going to take it over to my overlocker and finish the edges on the overlocker as well and that's my shoulder seams. While I'm here I'll probably just pin the sides, sew them on my zigzag stitch and then take it all to the overlocker for the end. <laughs> So before overlocking the side seams, I've sewn them and I tried it on because um, I wanted to make sure that the fit was good. I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller on the side seams up to about the waist. And then I need to unpick the whole of one side on the bottom because I forgot that this had a slit in it. So I'm going to do that and then I will try it on and get back to you. Tea break. And then... What do I do next? Ah, so now I'm going to stitch the ends of my collar together. Although I did just say that I was going to overlock the side seams and shoulder seams when I finished them, but now I'm thinking I'm going to sew everything that needs to be sewn and then overlock everything afterwards. That seems like the most uh, efficient way of doing things. So this rectangle here is my collar, my turtleneck collar. So right sides together, I'm going to sew it like that and then it will fold in half obviously right sides out and that will be my collar which I'll attach to my dress so I'm going to do that now so I sewed the long edge with the zigzag stitch I'm so sorry this is basically impossible to see then I did my overlocking it's pink one side black the other with some white bits because you know and then we're going to fold it in half like so. And attach it to the neck hole. Woo! Change of plan. I'm going to overlock the shoulder seams and the side seams now because obviously I want them overlocked before I add the um, collar on so that it's nice and neatly finished before that stitching goes on top of it. So, my camera cannot deal with these crazy sparkly lights to the overlocker. Okay, so all my <laughs> crazy pink overlocking is done and on the sides as well. I realized this is gonna be the perfect label to add to this dress. This is what I got in the Fabric Godmother Advent Calendar. I mean, come on. Perfect. So now I'm going to attach my collar and the way I'm going to do that is I've marked with a clip, you could mark with a pin, the back where the seam is, the front, the side and the side and that's going to match up with the back here, the middle of the front, the side and the side. So I'm going to clip those four in place and then I'm going to evenly stretch out the fabric um, so that we can pin or clip everything else in place so it's nice and neat and one side isn't really baggy and the other side's really tight so we'll use those four as our main markers and then work in between let's do it
the fabric is really slippy and it keeps slipping off um, my table so it's not the easiest thing to show you on camera and it's quite heavy as well so the bottom of it wants to slip off down the table I'm just pressing my seams with my fingers towards the back as well so I've got those four in place and now I'm just going to evenly and carefully, I don't want to overstretch it. Although, can you overstretch stretch fabric? I'm not sure. Join up in those gaps. You're really seeing my Christmas nails today. I don't usually have long nails, only at Christmas. Well, and maybe my birthday and other key events in the year, but I can't work very well with long nails. And then I'm also going to put my label in to the sewing machine. Okay, weird that my phone's there, but so that's done. So I did my row of zigzagging and then I did my overlocking. Um, my label is super wonky, but I mean, I'm going to be very wonky when I wear this. So, I mean, maybe it's quite apt. Um, I feel like it needs a really good press. Um... It's definitely, this fabric does not take a press very well, but I'm going to try. And yeah, I'm just not really happy with my overlocking, but there's, I'm, my, my overlock is really playing up at the moment. No matter how much I change the dials, like it's really, I think I need to give it a good service and replace my needles as well. But I don't have any at the moment. Now we have our sleeve. Um, we are going to sew down the side and then overlock that do that for both of them then we are going to attach our sleeve into our armhole i am running out of time so i'm going to power through this and hopefully i'll see you when i just have to hem the sleeves and hem the dress and then we might have a new year's eve dress by tomorrow my only concern is i've just tried it on and because obviously the collar was double-sided with the um with this fabric and that means that's against my skin and it's really itchy. So I don't know how I'm going to fix this. Um, it's a little bit of an issue that I'm trying to think about right now and work out a solution. Okay, the sleeves are on. I have hemmed them. I think I'm going to have to uh, hand sew some jersey to the inside of this just because it is so itchy. I also made a massive, oh gosh, this is so close. I also made a massive error and I was ironing with my iron too hot and I did make a tiny hole um, just there and there. <sighs> but I'm hoping because the fabric is so like glittery and jazzy that you can't see it. I now just need to finish the slit I've got leggings on but I just need to finish the edges of the slit and hem the bottom and then she'll be ready for New Year's Eve also I'm so tired I was not looking in the camera lens oh, oh we're so close so here is the dress this is how I think I'm going to style it with these shoes and some gold earrings and I think I'm with some of the scraps I'm going to make a belt Okay, so I do really like it with the belt. I think it gives a nice waist definition. It's also quite nice, like, put to the side. The waist um, belt was really easy to make. I just used some scraps of fabric, three scraps, actually, sewed them together to make one long scrap, and then I sewed up one side and turned it inside out. Oh, you can't really focus on that, can you? There you go. So, yeah. Hopefully I will get some pictures or a video on New Year's Eve, but who knows? Maybe we'll be ending the video like this. Fingers crossed.